Hey, I hope you guys are having an excellent, excellent day out there. For those of you guys that do not know me, my name is Jameson Sharp. They call me Doc. And I got to tell you guys something. I really want to open up about something. It's my disability and my illness. It's devastated my life. And it, 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 at times it makes me not function correctly. And I am not as strong as I used to be before I had it at all. But uh, there's some good things that came out of it and some bad things. I'll tell you my story real quick. Uh, several years ago, I started feeling weak and fatigued. Started almost passing out behind the wheel. I was like, something is dangerously wrong with me. It got so bad, I started getting pain in my, my leg, my sciatic nerve, neuropathy in my arms. Things just weren't uh, functioning correctly in my body, hormonal. All these things started happening to me. My bone wasn't healing. You know, I was getting surgery and it wasn't healing. I was like, oh my God, what is happening to me? I was literally dying. I got permanent black spots in my vision from my retinal nerves being degenerated from not being able to replenish itself. Psychiatric conditions that happened to me and persisted. I've lost memories. I lost a certain part of my emotional intelligence and I live with this now. It's debilitating. It's a, de it's a disability. Pernicious anemia. Vitamin B12 deficiency almost took my life. I think I need to write a book about it because uh, I know it affects a lot of people. The root cause is in your small intestines. There's an area where you can no longer absorb through enzymes vitamin b12 because vitamin b12 is essential for your body to function and create you know energy okay it's a it's a very very vital uh vital the body needs to survive and it, mine went done diagnosed for almost a year over a year and almost died and I was under physician's care, so this is crazy. So if you know of any publishers out there that would like a good story that's a medical mystery, I got one. What I went through was nothing short of miraculous. It took me over a year to get better. I still don't have memory functions correct. I still don't have emotional and hormonal functions that are correct. Uh, naturally, you know, Natural, natural. So, but you know what? I'm a fighter. I'm really a fighter. Uh, I changed everything about my life, from my diet to my people I associate with, and my career path. Because I know how easy it is to die now, and how quick it is, and it damn near did me in. And. I gotta give a shout out to my Gracie Jiu Jitsu family because they changed everything about me. They changed my whole life trajectory about just training, getting strong, being there with me, having good people around you. They are one of the major reasons I survived and I thrived. And I'm a fighter. I can fight this illness and be okay. Uh, it's an incredible thing. Eating well, they changed the way I eat. The Gracie family, the Gracie diet, just good things, you know. And not all, all the way sold on everything, but I'm making good progress. But uh, I'm alive today because of generous and good people stepping up to help me. And especially when I was dying. Bad stuff. So I appreciate you guys out there. If you are experiencing a vitamin B12 deficiency, get help. I had to get a shot. I have to get a shot every month now, the rest of my life, uh, just to survive. So it makes you really think about things. I fight so hard in my business career, political career, and just in life in general to stay healthy. And I still am not 100%. There's parts of me when I'm on the telephone with people, I can't read what they're saying to me. I have complete difficulties remembering and reading what they're saying to me. I sound nervous on the phone, but I'm really not. It's just my illness. But I tell you this, the illness has given me something on life that a lot of people don't have. Just live for today and honestly, really think about where you're going with your life. Go on offense. Don't live on defense. Be fearless. 
just be fearless. You'd be all right. I'll just do better for yourself. I have an incredible network because I live on offense. People are going to judge you either way. But you know what? When they see you hanging with a very, very small influential crowd of folks and you know them personally, guess what? They'll change your tune real quick. Like, dang. How's you know them? Do what you got to. Live your life on your terms. I exercise routinely now, and it's helped me with my strength so much because I was so out of so out of sorts when I first got my illness. Now I'm actually strong, stronger now than I, than I was. I don't know, three years ago, major. So do the right thing. Take care of your body. Body take care of you. So, so um, look. I like to share my story because I think people out there need to know and hear it because there's some things I don't remember. Not because uh, I don't remember, want to remember them, it's because I, I have an illness that's hurt me. I've had a head injury in the past that's hurt me. My vitamin B12 deficiency dinner killed me and uh, I got permanent black marks in my, my vision now and I've got permanent neuropathy in my arms and legs, but I fight my fitness exercise and the way I eat because if I don't if I don't exercise if I don't do jiu-jitsu I will die I will die a very painful slow death and that's what pernicious anemia will do to you so if you're living with it just know you're not alone get help and fight but you have to put in the work for your quality of life to be better you really do jiu-jitsu has really helped me in that instance it's also helped me in my business and political career Majorly. The network I have access to now is just incredible. When people look me up, they're like, dang, you are one of those jujitsu guys? That's cool. That's another benefit. A lot of people forget that. It's so cool. I got a hit podcast that's coming out. And uh, it's growing, which is pretty cool. I appreciate you guys. That's all I got. If you are living with a disability or illness, do not let it limit your life. Take a page from my book and go on offense. Don't live on defense. Live on offense. Be fearless. Be a fighter. Have courage and bravery. Be willing to go and do things others won't, and you'll be successful. I promise you. A big part of my, my success in life has been my relationships I'm able to have and connect with people because... I live life fearlessly, because I know I almost died. It almost took me. And the, the actual process of getting better and healing was so painful, and it hurt so bad. I'm just grateful to be alive. So if you do have it, pernicious anemia, you're going to be all right. You just have to fight. You have to change your diet. Take care of yourself. Exercise. I highly suggest you start Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Because not knowing that, I mean, it improves your life physically and socially and emotionally so much. It'll change everything. Your support network will help you through this. Hey, I appreciate you. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Before you guys do not know me, my name is Jameson Sharp. They call me Doc. Hit me up on social media. Appreciate you. That's all I got. Take care. Like I always say at the end of my videos, good night and good luck. Have a good one. Catch you next time.